Hey, welcome to day two, week one of your posture training. Let's get to it. Let's stand up and let's start with some dynamic stretches. Let's just take a few steps in place and you know, let on toes, lift those arms, chop up the elbows rather. Okay, and lift those knees. Okay, from here, what I want you to do is keep your arms together. We're going to do these circles kind of like this, but you want to keep your elbows together until they must separate at the top. Keep them together until they absolutely must separate. Okay, so I'm going to try to do three of those. And if you're with me, that's four and five. Okay, hopefully you got those three in. Let's go in the other direction now. So the same thing. Try to get your elbows together as soon as you can at the top and keep them together as long as you can until they must separate at the bottom. Okay, nice. So we're going to start with a simple tricep stretch. And I like to lean away and get my oblique, my sides, and myself just unlocking my torso a bit. Stand a little more upright. Okay, today I hope you brought your equipment. We're gonna be using our gym mats and our stability ball. Gym mat optional, stability ball also optional. I'm gonna show you how to do this both ways. Let's begin on the ball. So I usually slide myself up on my hips and walk forward. And what we're gonna do is have your thumbs up and exhale and look up. We're gonna do this for 15 reps. Likewise, if you're on the ground, you could be right here. Keep your head down. Sometimes I put a towel here so that it's a little bit more comfortable. And then just exhale and raise as high as you can. Um, for our purposes, we're gonna keep our head down, but on the ball, we can do extension. You can also do this exercise. This is absolutely fine. It's a little bit more advanced. Okay, let's begin. We're gonna do two sets of 15. Okay, I'll do the advanced one for the first set. Uh, I'll show you the, the, I'll do the beginner one. Okay, so let's begin. Up, one, two, down. Up, two, two, down. Up, three, two, down. Make sure you're not hunching, make sure your shoulders are down as far as you can and have your ears length, your neck lengthened. Okay, up four, two, down, slow, exhale, up five, two, down, slow, up six, two, down, slow, two, down, slow, eight, two, down, slow, two, down, slow, Nine, you still with me, right? Two, down, slow. Eleven, two, down, slow. Thirteen, twelve, two, down, slow. Try not to turn your neck like I just did. You want to just look up, if anything, but not rotate left or right. Okay, one more rep. Two, down, slow. I like that fun. Sometimes things get a little silly. Let's try to go into a uh, child pose stretch or if you're on the ball or have the ball near you, this one is an invaluable stretch. So you just go forward and just push your chest down and hold for 10 seconds or so. Okay, so while you're doing that, just relax, breathe rhythmically, a little back to center. And now is where the magic comes in. Let's go out and to the left, push our right armpit down towards the ground and feel that stretch through the right side. Woo. Okay, bring it back to center, and now we're going to roll out to our right side. Push our left armpit down to the ground, and breathe rhythmically. Four, three, two, one. Okay, back on the ball, same difference if you're on the ground. Uh, just like I said, I try to situate myself on the hips, and there's millions of exercises you can do here that are good for your posture. Um, and we're going to start with this one. Uh, we're going to proceed to this one. So exhale, and this is for your rector spinet, and we're going to do 15. Okay, let's begin. Three. Exhale the way up. Pull those elbows back. Four. Five. And on the ground. Six. Seven. Eight. 
9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, let's do both of those one more time. Like I said, two sets. So we're going to start, these are called Y flies. Whether you're on the ball or not, or whether you do them the advanced way, or do them just for the middle and low traps, all are great options. Let's do the middle and low traps now. Okay, so neck lengthened. Exhale, raise your thumbs towards the sky as high as you can. Okay, another two, one, down. Two, two, down. Three, two, down. Two, down. Two, down, six, two, down, seven, two, down, eight, two, down. Still keep that neck lengthened. Down, ten, two, down, eleven, two, down, twelve, two, down, thirteen, two, down, fourteen, two, down, 15, two, down. One thing you might notice is these are very weak muscles. These muscles are very good for posture and that's why usually we are weak in those areas because we need to improve our posture. Let's go back to this one, the child pose, whether you use the ball, the mat, whatever. Okay, from here, I just like to do that as like kind of rest side between. Let me turn my mat so you can see what we're going to do. We're going to be in a quadruped position. Hands under our shoulders, knees under our hips. Tuck your toes or leave them out. Doesn't matter to me. Do what's comfortable for you. I like to grip through my fingertips. Look inward. Exhale. I can round my back as much as I can. And then inhale, then exhale. And arch my back as much as I can. So, inhale. Exhale. Just try to get as much of range of motion through your spine as you can while it's grown by the clavicle and the hips. Basically, it's horizontal, there's no mechanical friction on it. It's not like you do crunches. So, this really opens up each vertebra and lets a little synovial fluid in, giving it more oxygen, nutrients, and eliminating nitrogenous waste, carbon dioxide, and other things you don't want there. Okay, let's stand up. Let's end with a few stretches. I like to use the wall for this one. I just stand so that you know my back is to the wall, and my elbow is at shoulder height. I push my elbow downward, and this stretches my internal rotator cuff. Usually, it's one that's pretty tight for people, and you'll feel it. But you can even stand 90 degrees to the wall for a little bit more accent to it. Okay, you're with me, right? Another eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, same on the other side. Be sure to have your elbow at a 90 degree angle. If it's a little bit open, it's not a big deal. You'll be hitting just a little bit different striations of the muscle. Let's say are a little obtuse or a little acute. You know what? Sometimes you'll find a sweet spot where it feels a little tighter. Maybe that's where you should spend a little more time. Your mind and body kind of know each other, but they just don't have to speak to each other. It's like they speak different languages. Okay. Now just, like I said, and then you turn 90 degrees to exacerbate the stretch a bit, and we'll hold for another 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. Okay, not my favorite, and this is our finisher, guys. We're going to go by the wall, we're going to the door frame, let's go just stand here and uh, put my elbows, make sure they're at shoulder height on both sides, step forward with my right foot. And just get a stretch in through my pecs, my interior delts, all this through the front. Okay, hold, relax, release. 15 seconds. Breathe rhythmically and let the world's problems disappear. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. So me personally, when I do that, I like to then just pull my shoulders down and back a few times, switch which leg was forward, and do it again. So the same way you exercise in sets, you can also stretch in sets. 
and you can lengthen a muscle up to two to four centimeters. Whereas in a strength session, you can't really put on that kind of mass unless it's just inflammation. That being said, left foot forward, opposite forward from your last one, 15 seconds. Let's begin. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So by stretching all that forward, Tissue that makes us slump forward when we're on our cell phone or typing at a desk. We pull everything back and that will help our posture should be more upright. One other thing I'd like to do, and you can try both and see which one is best for you. Maybe sometime it is both, is the corner of a room. If you have any corner of any room, elbows again at shoulder height, step in. If it's not enough of a stretch, maybe put your hands a little wider, still at about shoulder height, shoulders down, step in. Feels fantastic. All right, that's everything for day two, week one. You guys did a great job. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.